Hey, what's up? Uh, we're For Your Health. We're on tour with Mouth Breather right now. We're gonna show you our van. So, let's hop in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the front of the van. It's where the driver and the co-pilot sits. Got a bunch of shit over here. We like uh, we like drinks. Big yerba mate van. Uh, yeah, we got a case of those. Blue for you. Seltzers as well. The seltzers. We usually have like some some stuff that we hold onto for a whole tour, and we don't touch for some reason. <laughs> uh, it's pistachios right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, so usually swap off driving. There's a, uh, the. There's four of us, yeah. There's four of us. Uh, the femoids don't really drive. <laughs> but, uh, so me, Johnny, and uh, Nick and Jake switch off usually. <laughs> We've been rocking the, uh, the FM radio. Uh, we have an aux cable, but we're being strong and we're not going to use it uh, as long as we can. Yeah. So it's rental, so yeah. you know. Been listening to a lot of Catholic radio. No Bluetooth, because yeah. it's a rental. You know? Yeah, we yeah. just, we're trying it, because like we tour all the time and we're always listening to shit, so like, I don't know, I just like, I haven't listened to the radio in like 10 years, so yeah, I, I just want to see what was up with it. You can you can go on the radio and you can say anything you want, so <laughs> yeah. it's really interesting. It makes yeah, really interesting like, stuff. The other night we were listening to like, I honestly, I don't even know if it was like Chinese or Vietnamese, but we were listening to some like, some, Some of Eastern that language. Eastern language uh, music for like several hours, and it was really calming. And you don't get that like when you're streaming, because I'm just gonna like listen to the same Fall Out Boy record over and over. So, uh, yeah, we've been trying out the radio. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Rosa. Got some. Uh, I'm I'm kind of the gatekeeper of the uh, entertainment and also feeding hour, the trough, if you will. Um, <laughs> we've got. Bags of chips. We love the Kettle Kettle brand. Uh, salt and pepper. Wow, so tasty. Um, we've got a water bottle with our friends' bands on them. Uh, there's way too many Guayaki Yerba Mates, but we love them. I love them. It's what keeps me going. I don't drink coffee, so, you know, have to have something. Um, beyond that, I, uh, I relay messages from the front to the back and uh, Versa Vice. I uh, make requests on the uh, music that don't get fulfilled, and uh, just hang out, you know, read some books occasionally. So we've, we've got this uh, dynamic uh, concept that we, uh, I guess, explore more with every tour, where uh, we switch dynamics up, different benches, different seating arrangements. Pretty much, I tend to stay here. Uh, I like consistency, I like routine. Um, which is funny on the road, because you don't get that. Um, but Johnny's usually my co-pilot here for the, uh, the fun bench, and uh, then we get some other people. Uh, I'm Nick, uh, welcome to row two. Uh, this is affectionately the fuck around game. <laughs> <laughs> um, Johnny is actually my co-pilot. Uh, sorry wow, about that. Wow, wow. And uh, yeah, I don't know. So if I'm not driving, I'm usually back here working, designing for bands and shit like that. Um, what else happens? Sim and I gossip. Gossip? Yeah, there's gossip. Uh, usually stuff that we don't want the front section to hear. Um, Cause that's not the fuck around with gang. So there is a road game uh, that we love to play called My Cow. And My Cow is effectively you're just trying to garner the most cows uh, from the start of the tour to the end of it. Um, basically, any pasture that you drive by, whoever sees those cows first and yells, my cow, that's their cow. I'm gonna let someone else kind of go from here because I'm kind of a newbie as far All as right, the my I'm cow in. goes. Yeah, tap out. Okay, so once you have cows, if you see a, any sort of place of worship, a church, temple, etc., chapels count, um, you can say holy cow and it doubles the amount of cows you have if you have zero cows You can still do it to prevent someone else from doubling their cows if you pass a cemetery You can say dead cow and it kills everyone's cows except yours and if you pass a casino You can say cash cow and it's kind of like double jeopardy You can wager any amount of cows that you have or less and if you're the next person to get a cow or a holy cow 
you get the amount of cows that you wager. And if you're not, you lose them. Simple ass. <laughs> this game this game actually tears families apart. It does. We've almost broken up many times. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, you can you don't even have to play. You can just wait for a cemetery and say dead cow to ruin everyone else's day. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm yeah. <laughs> After amassing cows, a, a good dead cow will kill. <laughs> the vibe. <laughs> the vibe. <laughs> Well, that's not true yes. because because one person's vibe gets incredibly soured and everybody else's vibe goes through the roof. <laughs> 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 yeah. crazy. Oh my god, this is so true. Um, so, welcome to the last row. My name's Hayden. I'm uh, Sim. Yeah. So basically, the the last row is the only thing like keeping the way back from. It's this kind of our containment unit right here. <laughs> Since we got a trailer, we just kind of throw all of our personal shit in this big pile and try not to think about it. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it gets more fucked up every day, and you know, by it's the end growing. of the tour, it's just kind of like, I don't know, it's not good. So you can kind of <laughs> see that creeping through here, but honestly, it's pretty cozy back here because like we can use some of this junk to like <laughs> as like a a bed extension. So. This is kind of, back row is kind of like where, you know, we chill out and uh, also where Sim does their makeup, so, yeah. yeah. Yes, I do my makeup during the drive every day. I know, it's so amazing. How do you do that in the van? I don't know. Um, maybe it's not that good on camera. I've honestly never seen my makeup in motion on camera, so I hope it's good. But yeah, our drive was really bumpy. It's actually the bumpiest in the back row. Um, but you just gotta go with it. And one thing I've learned is um, no harsh lines. Um, fuzz everything out and then no one can really tell. Okay, so this is my crop. Um, I usually lean it up against the window. Kind of opens like that. I know, it's a lot of stuff. Um, and I have this palette that um, the mirror broke off, but it's really good because you can just lean it up against the window and you can, you can tape it if you want. Um, but yeah, that's how I do everything. Um, sometimes I don't really have the resources to clean my brushes, and that's good, because I wear a lot of black makeup in this band. Um, yeah, so I pretty much do that back here. I film uh, TikToks that I don't really plan on posting, um, but I do edit them, and I even, <laughs> I even wrote a script for a voiceover back here. But... I hate recording my voice. So yeah, that's pretty much me. All right, so basically all of our personal items we got, um, you know, a lot of duffel bags, suitcases, got some records and some pillows and such. Um, there's no hangers in this van, so all of our, our uh, fancies are just kind of floating around right now. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of unbearable. But, uh, you know. Sometimes I'll get, sometimes we can, in our old van, we used to like stack everything up against the wall and then we can come back here and crash yeah. or flop around and go joker mode or whatever you want to do. We, we call this the way back. We like sometimes back. if you, you know, you're really tired and the bench isn't cutting it, you can kind of fashion this into a bed like a Voltron of sorts like using different items. Uh, we haven't done it yet on this tour, honestly, because we have an extra bench, but uh, Oh, it's coming handy before, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's we're being pretty bad on this tour because like the space management isn't doesn't have to be that good because most of our shit's in the trailer, so we're just kind of tossing it. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on our first tour, uh, first big tour, we did we had eight people in a in a in a fifteen passenger van with like gear for two bands and all the merch. Yeah. So it was like uh, three to a bench, and then like just like. A comp the merch and everything was just completely like ceiling to floor so this is like this is definitely an upgrade uh, we're on social media you know for your health OH on everything Twitter Instagram uh, we don't really use Facebook anymore but mostly active on Instagram you can find all of our uh, tour links and music links and stuff there <laughs>